Hello and welcome to EC Electronics. So this is the part 22 of ISRO Technical Assistant Mock Test Series. So I really hope that you will be finding the questions useful. So all of you guys who are preparing for the Technical Assistant Examination, please try to attempt the exam. And if you found the video useful, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Now let's see the questions. Let's see the solutions of the 10 questions. The first question is, find the reflection coefficient of the wave passing through two medium having intrinsic impedances of 4 and 9 respectively. So there are two mediums whose uh, intrinsic impedances have been given. You need to find the reflection coefficient. The equation for reflection coefficient in terms of intrinsic impedances, reflection coefficient tau is equal to eta 2 minus eta 1 by eta 2 plus eta 1. So, eta 2 is the intrinsic impedance of the second medium. Eta 1 is the intrinsic impedance of the first medium. And just apply the values of eta 1 and eta 2. You will be getting the reflection coefficient. Okay. So, 9 minus 4 by 9 plus 4 which is equal to 5 by 13 and if you solve it, you will be getting 0 0.38 is the value for your reflection coefficient. Okay. So, the correct answer here is option C, three, 0 0.38. Okay. Moving on to the second question. The second question is, you can see the questions on board. Second question. The reflection coefficient, again the question is from EMT itself. The reflection coefficient of a wave with transmission coefficient 0 0.35 is dashed. So the relation between reflection coefficient and transmission coefficient is reflection coefficient R or tau equal to 1 minus transmission coefficient T. Okay, so R is a reflection coefficient, T is a transmission coefficient, then R equal to 1 minus T. So here transmission coefficient is given 0 0.35. So just substitute and find the value of reflection coefficient. 1 minus 0 0.35 is 0 0.65. Correct answer here is option B is the correct option. Okay. So second question correct answer is option B. Moving on to the third question. So in this video I have included uh, more questions from EMT. So the third question is Standing waves occur due to dash. A. Impedance match. B. Impedance mismatch. C. Reflection. D. Transmission. So we all know that the uh, standing waves are generally happening due to the reflections from the load side towards the source side. Okay. So we have done a detailed video on BSWR. So you can find uh, in that video how the reflection is happening, how the standing waves are occurring, what type of standing waves are there. So Anyway, just know that we are sending the waves from the source side to the load or the receiver side. And due to the impedance mismatch between these two and also in the transmission line, the standing waves are generated or reflections happen from the receiver or the load side towards the transmitter or source side. Okay, So, due to that, the reflections are happening and due to which the standing waves are generated. Okay. So, this is the concept. So, this is happening. All these things, the reflections, the standing wave generation, everything is happening due to the impedance mismatch. Okay. Correct answer here is option B, which is impedance mismatch is the correct answer for your third question. Okay. Next, moving on to the fourth question. The 
given that reflection coefficient is 0 0.6 what is standing wave ratio okay so this is a very famous relation between standing wave ratio and reflection coefficient a lot of questions can come from this area okay so standing wave ratio or swr or can be voltage standing wave ratio that is vswr okay anyway swr or vswr is equal to 1 plus mod tau by 1 minus mod tau okay so there is a modeless sign mod tau 1 plus mod tau by 1 minus mod tau now this tau is the reflection coefficient so here in this question directly reflection coefficient is given you have to find the swr or standing wave ratio but in some questions sometimes the intrinsic impedance or some impedance values will be given to you you have to first find the reflection coefficient then calculate swr but here you don't need uh, to find all those things you just have to substitute here in this equation and find what is the value of swr okay so 1 minus sorry 1 plus 0 0.6 by 1 minus 0 0.6 that is equal to 1.6 by 0 0.4 and the value is 4 okay so 4 is the value for your standing wave ratio so correct answer is option b is the correct answer okay moving on to the fifth question fifth question is from network analysis if there are eight nodes in network there is in a network there are eight nodes we can get dash number of equations so if there are n nodes generally then we can have number of equations equal to n minus 1 okay so that is the concept you should be knowing here if the number of nodes is n then n minus 1 number of equations can be formed so here it is 8 minus 1 that is 7 number of equations can be formed so the correct answer is option c is the correct answer for your fifth question now moving on to the sixth question the sixth question is from series RLC circuit. Question is to find the resonant frequency. So whenever you are seeing this resonant frequency, more, most of the time it will be from this RLC circuit. Okay. So determine the resonant frequency for specification R equal to 10 ohm, L equal to 0.1 Henry and C is equal to 10 microfarad. You need to find resonant frequency F equal to or FR is equal to 1 by 2 pi square root of lc okay so just substitute and find all the values are given to you 1 by 2 into 3.14 into square root of l is 0 0.1 henry into 10 into 10 raised to minus 6 okay so this is the sum you have to solve for finding the resonant frequency and the value you will be getting is 159.2 hertz okay and in the options, you cannot find any decimal point value. The options are A157, B158, C159, D160. So, correct answer coming will be option C159. Okay. Moving on to the seventh question. Seventh question is from Mathematics 1111. Mathematics 1111. The answer for question number 6 is C159 hertz. The unit is hertz. Okay. Next question, which is question number 7. In series circuits, the expression for quality factor, very, very important equation, quality factor for series RLC circuits is given by Q equal to resonant frequency by bandwidth. Okay. This is the equation for finding the quality factor. So, we have done a separate video on uh, series RLC circuit, all the important concepts and equations that is given in the analog electronics playlist. You can find it over there and you can... Uh, have a reference okay so here the question is regarding the equation for quality factor which is fr which is resonant frequency by bandwidth and correct answer is option c moving on to the eighth question question number eight question number eight is potential difference in electrical terminology is known as dash very simple question so the potential difference we generally call it is voltage right so the voltage is nothing but the potential difference between two terminals so options are a voltage b current c resistance d conductance there is uh, no confusion in the options also so the correct answer is 
वोल्टेज वोल्टेज इज एक्चुअली द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू टर्मिनल्स ओके सो इन इलेक्ट्रिकल टर्मिनोलॉजी द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस इज कॉल्ड वोल्टेज देन नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन so the ninth question is a uh, is a question from network analysis it is a numerical question find the total current in milliamperes in the circuit okay you can see the question on the circuit on board anyway i'll draw it for you okay so the circuit is consisting of a 1k resistance again a 2k and another 2k in parallel connection this is 1k again this is connected in series with another 1k and these resistors or its combination is connected to a 3 volt battery okay so this is the total connection and you have to solve it and you have to find what is the current so before finding the current we'll first find what is the total resistance of this combination okay so there is a 1k here a 1k here these two 1k's are in parallel so if you remove these two 1k's you can have a single sorry if you remove the two k's which are in parallel you can form a single 1k by applying the parallel equation and there are now three 1k's and they are in series connection so totally the equivalent is 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is 3k okay so this is your equivalent resistance and this is your voltage now current finding is very simple i equal to v by r v is 3 volt by r is 3k okay so the current coming is 1 milli amperes okay so if you closely see the question you can see that in uh, find total current in bracket they are given milli amperes and and hence the options are just uh, numbers 1 2 and 3 1 2 3 and 4 so you have to select option a 1 okay that is 1 milli ampere is the current correct answer for ninth question is option a is the correct answer again the 10th question 10th question is again from network analysis if the resistance is 3 ohm 5 ohm and 7 uh, 5 ohm 7 ohm and 9 ohm are in series then their equivalent resistance bracket in brackets ohm is dash okay so they are in series connection so there is nothing to complicate or think much about so they are in series connection so 3 ohm plus 5 ohm plus 7 ohm plus 9 ohm will be your r equivalent so if they were in parallel 1 by you have to take 1 by r eq equal to 1 by 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 7 plus 1 by 9 here since they are in series you just have to take the sum so 9 plus 5 plus 7 plus sorry 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 which is 24 ohms will be your equivalent resistance and correct answer here is option c so these are the 10 questions which i have included in this video hope i really hope that you found the video useful if yes please do give it a thumbs up and also share it with all your friends who is preparing for technical assistant examination or any competitive examination of electronics and if you found it useful please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want more videos thanks for watching and keep on watching